Well, it's the talk of the town. Discussions over a new arena in downtown Milwaukee. WSN 12 News' Belinda Davenport explains how leaders are focused on getting Milwaukee nationally recognized as an entertainment destination. These are the future leaders of Milwaukee. The who's who of Milwaukee's entertainment and cultural scene all in one place Wednesday, discussing how to keep the metro Milwaukee economy growing. Dan Keegan is the president of the Milwaukee Public Museum. Diverse people coming together with diverse ideas from diverse sectors of the community and the region to figure out what that vision should be. The timing of the meeting is fitting since Milwaukee's future with the NBA has been on the minds of many. Steve Costello, president of the BMO Harris Bradley Center, led the event saying Milwaukee Milwaukee's entertainment assets are the key to the future. It's about where do we want our community to be in 10 or 20 years and what is it going to take to get there? And some city leaders say that the BMO Harris Bradley Center's replacement is vital to keep the city moving and thriving over the next two to three decades. I think it's part of the mix. Uh, I think we all know that eyeballs on, on TV screens is an important piece about a brand strategy for a successful community and region and professional sports has a lot of eyeballs on TV screens. The main goal is to attract diverse young talent in the millennial age and some say that means building a new arena downtown. A new arena is vital to the long-term future of Milwaukee's big league sports and entertainment. A long-term goal which remains to be seen. In downtown Milwaukee, Melinda to Davenport, WISN 12 News. For a look at the proposed plans and locations for the BMO Harris Bradley Center, head to our website, WISN.com.